And the first time I talked publicly was at Provo, Utah. They had some, Dale Nish set up some big conference there. It was a big one. And everybody was there. there. So I'm giving my slideshow. And I found that I liked it. You know, I, I'd read something one time where you just kind of look out and you pick somebody in the audience to talk to or if you can see them, but it was dark. But I, you know, I picked an imaginary person. I started talking. I liked it. Uh, anyway, I hit this slide and this is this and I had some really good, and I'm barely a woodworker at this time, you know. But I had this, you know, I put it together, blah, blah. Next slide and a voice out of the Black audience comes. Will you go back to the next, the last slide? Okay. That tabletop will come apart in no time. It's the way you put it. I said, no, I didn't know who it was. No, I use, I, I use some 3M super duper Excellent epoxy, and it wasn't that wide a tabletop. It was a little nightstand, you know. It was about probably about 14, 15 inches wide. And I said, if anything, it'll crack along its its length. It, but it won't do one big crack. Blah blah blah. Because I know wood expands and contracts. I do it differently now. But well, it was Tay Fred. Okay, so you know that was it. So Bong went. Well, that night we were at uh, Dale Nish's house for dinner, no and out. Tay is sitting right across from me, and I, I, I didn't know the man. I think I'd probably heard his name. So we start talking, and I said, oh, you're the guy that asked blah, blah, blah. And we're arguing. I'm telling him, no, it's not going to come apart. One thing I know is the table resides up in the Oakland Hills here, and we have no humidity swings. We, you know, our humidity is... 80% humidity, or probably 70% humidity from January to January. With a few exceptions, we get a north wind, and for a day or two, it'll drop way down. Never goes up. So I made a bet with Tay Fred, bottle of vodka. He said, in one year, that will have a crack in it. I said, no, you know, bottle of vodka, shook hands. He got his card. He wrote on it and signed it, kept the card. A year and a half later, Wendell's out visiting. And we're bullshitting him. Oh, let's. So we get in the car, phone Sharon. Hey, can we come up and look at a table? Yeah, yeah, sure. So Wendell inspects it totally. Oh, no cracks. I mean, it's still in perfect condition. Writes a little note, Tay, this table is in perfect condition. And I shouldn't have sent back the card, but I sent back the card with his bet on it, sent it back to him. Geez, a couple of weeks later, I get a box in the post office. It's a bottle of really good vodka from Tay. And I told Dunnigan that story, and he says, Jesus, you're lucky, because he never paid off bets. Must have been your size. Or Wendell was also a speaker there, and I'd never met Wendell. And I remember the first night we were there, we were having some, some meal in some hall there, you know, and I'm sitting there with David Ellsworth and a couple other people, and... Geez, I look up and Wendell comes in the door and he sees me. I may tear up here, possibly. And he makes a beeline for me. And he walks up to the table, he says, Gary Bennett? I says, yeah, I stood up. He says, it's time we met. We've been in each other's pocket ever since.